All right, here is the video review for Make Toys MCDO1, MTCDO1 uh, Striker Manus, their new version of Optimus Prime. Uh, I, and I was expecting, I got a tracking number saying a package was coming from UPS. I expected it was going to be Trianix Alpha since that's starting to hit. Um, and when I got home, I opened the package and it was this guy, which was super exciting because I've been looking forward to this. Um, and as a caveat, I have to mention that uh, when we first saw these cross-dimension figures teased, uh, we had some like silhouette pictures and stuff, my first thought was kind of, uh, do we really need another Optimus Prime and Megatron? Like, they're out there, we see them, I get it, they're popular, but we've got a lot of Optimus Primes and Megatrons coming. And, uh, and then we saw him in color, and I was like, okay, okay, I dig that. And then they showed off the, the mold for Despotron, a rider Despotron, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm in on these. I'm in on these. And uh, so he showed up. I was super stoked. I've been having a rough day anyway. So coming home and finding him instead of Trianix Alpha was like a huge, awesome surprise. But so anyway, here he is. He's Optimus Prime. As you can see, an alternate version of Optimus Prime which is explained in the comic that comes with him, and he does come with the comic. We'll show that off in a second. Um, but yeah, good, solid, hefty. Um, not a whole lot of features here in vehicle mode aside from the vehicle mode. Um, and he rolls. But he, I mean, he's got some heft to him. He's a good, solid chunk. And I dig his windows and all that stuff. And you can kind of see through the window the detailing of like the matrix handles, which is some neat little tech detailing under the clear window. Uh, and then same on the sides. But a unique, I mean, standard red cab, blue back here. I mean, at first I thought there wasn't any place to attach a trailer, but there actually are a couple slots back here that a trailer could peg into. Some people asked if he worked with the G3 trailer that Fans Project put out, and I don't know because I, ne I never ended up picking that up. So uh, whatever trailer would have to plug in, there's no, you know, hor vertically loading little peg hole that you can just plug a trailer into. It looks like it's going to snap in there if anything does fit. But yeah, very cool. Um, and just as a quick comparison with the Knight Ginrai, just to give you an idea about how he compares to the Classics Prime mode. You can see the vehicle mode, roughly the same dimensions. Not exact. Uh, the Classics mold ends up being a little taller on account of the wind vane, but uh, Striker Manus, you can see, is a little wider. And he does come with, like I said, he comes with a little card, a little art card, and on the back of that is one of the AR tokens. If you get the Make Toys app, which is uh, free, I know it's at least free on the app on the Apple App Store. I don't know if uh, I'm assuming they have an Android version as well, but I, I don't know for sure. Um, but you can take these AR tokens and lay them down, scan them in, so you can see what uh, Riot or Despotron will look like in 3D. There's also episode zero of the Cross Dimension comic, which I'm, I'm not going to spoil the story here, but um, it c tells the story of why we have this version of Optimus. There's a few teases for some other characters there in the back, but um, but a fun little comic. And then of course you get the instruction sheet here. Just an old baggie. It's got this vehicle mode on one side. Robot mode on the other. Also, a lot of these are coming with these little codes down here. I'm not sure what those are for. But I noticed, uh, I think Pandanus had one on his manual as well. And Vulcan might too. Go ahead and put these off. But anyway, on to the figure itself. Alright, so we're going to start off. First thing we want to do here is these blue panels right here. You kind of pull them out, untap them from this little canister up here, and this whole panel comes out, and then comes out and around, and folds back down here like that. Same on the other side. And this one is, in the instruction book, since he comes packed in robot mode, uh, the instructions show how to transform him into vehicle mode. And when you get to this step, like I said, you want to make sure this comes out out and around versus the, the manual makes it look kind of like this piece just slides up and it doesn't you actually have to take this up 
pull it out and around and then tab it into this little slot here on the back of the canister. So once that's done, unpeg these canisters from these parts right here. We can go ahead and untab this from the top and slide this whole assembly out. Uh, we'll fold in half, we're gonna make a weapon here out of it, but this whole assembly right here comes off, this is gonna form his rifle, much like the wind vane on Classics Prime. So yeah, and then we take these panels right here, and these are on hinges, so if you forget to untab them up here, it won't super mess things up, but it helps if you untab these panels first. So untab these side panels and fold them down. And then slide them all the way forward and around like that. They're, 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 they're loose this way, but once you get on either end, as you get to where the breaking, or the, not the breaking point, but the ex fully extended point, fully slid point, they, they tighten up again. And then under here, we want to, right here, untab the red part, like that. And that will bring the arms out. this, just like this, bring them our side like this, <laughs> that's actually not, that seems like it might be more for a combined mode, because that, you don't need that posability for, I guess it helps with some posing, but, let's snap these up like this, and then flip the hands out, and then fold these up to fill in that gap. Rotate the hand like that. Now the arms actually, uh, this part right here, um, on this ball joint, this helps illustrate it. You bring the arm up and around, and then this tab tabs in right up here. Like that. I guess that gives him more of a shoulder crunch too. But uh, yeah, bring that out and around, tab that in here. You can see there's the upper body starting to come together. His head uh, is pegged in right here. You want to unpeg it, lift it up and around. Pull his arms out to the side here. These uh, flip this piece out, and then these wheel panels rotate up and into there like that and again it helps a lot if you take it kind of twist it like that until this this piece comes up and then flip it up like that way easier that way than trying to just slide it up like that in one motion upper torso turns around to the front like this and go ahead and rotate right here at this hinge so this little fake grill comes up and then this whole upper assembly collapses down over the wheels like that. You want to make sure you push it all the way down in both the front and the back because sometimes you'll push this down and this will still be sticking up a little bit. And you just fold that up onto his back. And the legs, we're going to go ahead and fold these canisters up right there. Untab the legs. The feet, untab like that. And then you fold this all the way down on this hinge and then fold it up just at the front hinge and these little tabs will go into little slots right here on the feet. Like that. And then you untab these little feet parts from under here. And then uh, push them back. You ro rotate the foot up and kind of slide this back here until his foot's flat. Like that. Because if you just fold the foot up like that, it'll look like that and it won't support him. So you want to make sure you rotate it back and up here at this hinge. And then the legs themselves come out, lift up, and you want to make sure these snap into place. So put, kind of put your thumb right here and Make, wait until you hear that click to lock the leg in place. There we go. Just like that. And then uh, the thigh pieces, there's a little note 
reminding you of this in the box. But when you first transform to, to uh, vehicle mode, you want to slide the thighs out. You can see these don't match up right back. Um, you just want to slide those back in like that. Bring his arms down. Get him standing here. Don't worry, we're going to back up. Just give me a second. There we go. Now there he is in robot mode. There's one step I haven't done yet um, because I want to show off the option. Here he is, these pieces here at the waist. Here he is with these folded down. And it kind of fills in the waist with some gray. And that's fine. Uh, they're... they're official position is to be folded up like this so you see the little yellow headlights there on his waist part which you can totally do it just it kind of opens up a little bit of a gap there and i think it looks okay if you don't want to fold those up you're not gonna ruin the look of the figure but so yeah here he is in robot mode you take this piece right here pop it out fold this up like that with this handle coming out and then you push back here to pop this front piece out slide it out flip out the end of the gun and then take this whole assembly and snap it up into here it should click into place and then he's got much like if you've ever messed with uh, their chrome dome or hardhead uh, iron wheel and cupola uh, he's got the same kind of rail system on his gun that fits into little grooves in his hand, which just lets him hold his weapon a little bit more securely than just wrapping the fingers around it. And then you got a very nice looking prime. It's a, it's a different design. Obviously, they're you know they're going for an alternate universe prime, but like I said, I like the way the matrix chamber reflects. You know the kind of handles reflect there in his chest. Um, very poseable. And we'll go over some of the poses. Like I said, he's kind of got an arm crunch now that I know about it because of that, that red assembly there. So you can even crunch his arms forward if you want. Um, he's got an ab crunch, a uh, ball jointed head, ball joint at the shoulder, as well as an extra hinge out here on this piece, bicep swivel. Uh, I thought this was a double elbow up here, but apparently it's just this lower part of the arm that moves. Uh, wrist swivel, his fingers open up Index finger is individual, the other three are one piece. Waist swivel, of course, front to back. These all kind of have a, a slightly ratchety feel. Very, they're very stiff joints, um, although it doesn't ratchet this way. It's just a very tight joint, but thigh swivel, uh, dual hinge knees there, so you can get the leg folded up very well. Um, a lot of range, because of how they transform, a lot of range in the foot, both just naturally it's got an ankle tilt as well but also because you can extend that joint you can get him into some cool up on his tippy toes action poses not that i have i don't know why prime would want to stand like that but uh so yeah, you've got a lot of range of motion in the foot which is really nice so push that back Now um, he also has on his shoulders, his smokestacks can uh, detach and become axe weapons, which I think is a nice little, nice little feature. Um, and again, they have the same rail system for plugging into his hands, so he holds them very securely. And you can actually take these two and attach them together if you want. There's a little peg hole here. So if you want to give him like a dual axe weapon or like a throwing axe boomerang or something, you can attach those weapons together like that. But I, I, I do love how the axe handles form the smokestacks. I think that's a cool little, little feature. So yeah, like I said, wasn't sure about this one when we first saw pictures. Having it in hand, like I'm definitely in for this line. Because I think their Rider Despatron looks neat. I think his pistol mode looks kind of like something out of Firefly. I may have to get two of them. But, uh, 
But yeah, a lot of good action poses, a lot of very, very, very neat stylistic choices here on Striker Manus. I do think his, his actual face is a little small in relation to the rest of his helmet, but I like the design of his helmet. I like the secondary antenna back there. Just, it's, it's really solid and a really gorgeous looking figure. Um, and I have to say, like, I used to wonder, I'm like, everybody has, collects Optimus Prime figures. Everybody has these giant Optimus collections. And I'm just like, that's great and all, but, like, Optimus is the leader. Pick somebody who, like, pick one of the cool soldiers who maybe didn't get enough attention to be a fan of. And uh, I have actually now have a very, not as impressive as a lot of people's, but I've got a pretty decent collection of Optimus figures now. Uh, this one I'm happy to add to it. Really solid figure, fun transformation that's not frustrating at any point. Um, I think the Megatron counterpart to go with him is looking great. Uh, there's some other figures teased in their comic book that I'm looking forward to as well. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for the surprise Striker Manix. I was Manis. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. And uh, so coming home to that the other day was, was really kind of a boost after a long long day and just real quick now that we have him in robot mode let's do some size comparisons and you'll see part of that aforementioned prime collection i was talking about so here he is you remember how they, they were very similar in size in vehicle mode here he is with the classics prime mode in robot mode and you can see he's mold in robot mode uh, you can see he's he's much larger and beefier he doesn't have the big giant, like he has some flaps on his arms, but they fold down to actually become part of his arms. It is, he doesn't have these giant flaps. Um, like I said, he clearly looks like an Optimus. So we'll get him out, out of here. Let's see. Here he is with Toy World's Orion. Roughly the same height, uh, maybe a little shorter, certainly taller at the smokestacks. Um, not quite as broad in the abdomen. Not quite as heavy and beefy as the Toy World, but uh, similarly sized. Um, here he is with the current Power Master Optimus Prime, and you can see he is smaller than him. Now, there's rumors that there might be an upgrade armor for this Prime. Like I said, there is a spot where conceivably a trailer could attach. And if you start looking, like there's a plug, there's a couple little tabs that could be used as connection tabs here. A little plug hole in the front that could attach some armor. There's peg holes on both. One of these pegs tabs the arms onto the back here. But uh, there's a bunch of extra pegs here on the shoulders where conceivably, as well as the fact that the shoulders extend out here. That could be a feature that might allow more stuff to be tabbed onto him. Not so much on the legs. Oh, there is, uh, I guess there is the inner, the, the pegs for connecting together but then there is this slot here in the leg on both sides that doesn't serve any purpose so we'll see um, but yeah uh, what other primes do I got here I grabbed several here he is with Combiner Wars Optimus I think we can all agree that he's cooler than that one. <laughs> and here he is, I think this is the last one I got, with the uh, Classics Optimus mold with that Fans Project armor upgrade on it. The Parallax armor, I think is what they were calling it. And all in all, for an upgraded Classics ish prime, I do think Striker Manus wins that fight. I, 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 I've kind of dug this armor. Like I said, it's not. There, there's a few visual things that I think could have been mitigated or done a little better with this armor. But cons from a conceptual design, I like the fact that they designed it to give him all this armor and yet still be able to stay attached while you transform him and stay on in vehicle mode, which was which was very ingenious. Um, although I do think for just updated new look for Prime, Striker Manus definitely wins that fight. But anyway, there he is. There's Striker Manus from Make Toys. Um, very solid, very fun, very poseable action figure. And then that's one of the things I like about it. He keeps all that transformation gimmick. Uh, he turns into a solid truck. And uh, when he's in robot mode, he's 
action figure posable. He's not, I'm a transformer and this doesn't move because it has to turn into the front of the car posable. He's full on action figure posable. And uh, that's a huge, huge bonus for me. Like he, pl he plays like he's not a transformer, which is neat to say the least. So yeah, there he is, Make Toys Striker Manus.